Growing up, I would often find myself bored. So I did what I could to relieve myself from the monotony of routine. I would draw and doodle when I could because it allowed me to imagine things far more interesting than the things that were happening around me in the real world. So when I had the opportunity, I would immerse myself into virtual online worlds and take on the identities and roles of fictional characters. One minute I was Jose, the shy reclusive kid on earth, and a second later, I was a charismatic night wizard summoning fireballs to shoot at ethereal demons. Whatever the case was, I always sought to escape through my creativity. Sometimes on the weekends, I would pay a $2 entry fee to listen to crappy punk music in a stranger's backyard. Here, we would protest against the boredom and routine of everyday life through song and dance. We could be loud and obnoxious, something the energy and environment allowed for. Free expression was encouraged rather than judged, and it was gratifying to be a part of a community with its own unique culture and traditions. So with this in mind, I have created the Soup and Friends Collective to serve as a safe haven and social hub for people looking to explore their identity and voice through creative outlets and hobbies. Here at the Collective, we want to come together to educate and fight against the social injustices of the world. We will be recruiting members and raising funds through a badge merchandise system. During collective meetings, exclusive Soup and Friends merchandise will be sold as a way of tracking member involvement and activity. This merchandise, when worn, will grant exclusive perks and access to community-hosted events. Find your voice. Join Soup and Friends today.